Hello, today is Thursday, February 11th. Hopefully everybody's doing well at home. Um, this is a video for those people that need some extra help or absent. For the self-start, we're playing a little bit of catch up. Um, people are either working on the worksheet from Monday or they are working on the quizzes from yesterday. So if you need to do or finish the quizzes from yesterday, the code is right there. Make sure that when you go to the quizzes, that you put your first name in the hour that you're in and also make sure to show your work you'll be turning in the paper that shows your work and that's what gets you most credit so uh, there's your check Norris facts for the day as far as information goes you're down to eight days now to turn in the late work that's a week from tomorrow so things are really starting to pick up um, time's going to speed by really quick Speaking of speed, tomorrow uh, is our speed competition. So classes are going to be shortened. We're going to use the time to do a four question uh, feedback on equations just to make sure that everybody's kind of on the same page. And then the rest of the time will just be used to do what you need to do. For today, we are going to be practicing and reviewing how to do two-step and multi-step real life equations. Um, so setting up and solving problems from like a story problem. So. so the first thing, and this is something we talked about a while ago, how can you tell if a problem is going to be a one-step problem, a two-step problem, or a multi-step problem? And that's going to be based on the number of parts that you find. So we start with this. The bike shop rents bikes for $14 plus $3 each hour. Maria paid $20 to rent a bike. How many hours did she rent the bike? Well, we know that our total is $20. The parts that we know is that you can rent for $14. And it's $3 each hour. What do you not know? Well, it wants to know how many hours did she rent the bikes. We don't know the number of hours. So I'm going to use H as my variable. So to set up the equation, we've done this several times. I always start with the total. So I put the total on this side of my equal sign. I put my parts over on this side, so my 14 and my 3. Then I start looking for some keywords to help me set up the rest of it. So she rents it for $14 plus. Ooh, what does plus mean? Well, that means to add. Three dollars each hour. Ooh, there's another one each. So that means to multiply. So that tells me that I'm going to be putting my variable with the each. So right there. To solve it, we get rid of the term that does not have a variable first. That gives me three h equals six. We're going to divide by three, and I get an answer of h equals two. So how many hours did she rent the bike? She rented it for two hours. How about this one? Uh, let's see. A farmer ships oranges in crates that weigh 6.1 pounds when empty. Each orange weighs 0 0.38 pounds. The total weight of the crate is filled with oranges is 63.1 pounds. What's the number of oranges packed in each crate? Well, we know our total weight, and that's going to be the 63.1. So what parts do we know? Well, we know that a crate, when it's empty, if I can spell, there we go. So the crate is 6.1 pounds. We know each orange is 0 0.38. There we go, this is 0 0.38. So what do we not know? We don't know the number of oranges. So I'm going to use X as a variable for that one. So let's set it up. Put my total first, 63.1. I'm going to put my parts over on this side, 6.1 and 0.38. And I'm going to start looking for some keywords. Uh, let's see. I see each. Each means to multiply. 
So I'm going to multiply the oranges by the number of oranges. That's going to be my X. Now I don't see any other keywords, but if I think about it, I have an empty crate and oranges. So I'm going to be adding. So when you solve it, you're just going to be subtracting 6.1. Get 0.38x on this side. And you get 57 on this side. We're going to divide by 0.38. And my x is going to equal 150. So 150 oranges can fit into a crate. So as you've noticed in the last two problems, we've had two parts. So both of these problems have been two-step equations. So what happens if I have more than just two parts? Well, here we go. Trevor, Thomas, and Stacy decide to play mini golf. Each of them pays $3 for each game and $5 for candy bars. If they spent a total of $33, how many games of mini golf did they play? Well, I know my total, that's 33. So what parts do I know? Well, I see they paid $3 each game, uh, I see that they bought five dollars worth of candy, but I, there's one more part, and it's the number of people that went. There were three people. So when I look at this problem, I have one, two, three parts to it. So I know based off of that that this is going to be a multi-step equation. So when I set it up, I have to think that uh, so that way I don't oops on it. What do I not know? Well, I don't know how many games. So the number of games. And I'm going to use the variable M for mini golf. So my equation, let's pretend that it's just one person. Let's just say it's Trevor. Well, Trevor pays $3 for each game. Oh, and I see a keyword and $5 for candy. And I know that my variable is going to go with the three because it says $3 for each, and each is a keyword. So that's just for Trevor. But you know, the other people say, wow, that sounds like a lot of fun. So all three of them now want to do that exact same thing and then spend $33. So there's my multi-step problem. Do my rainbows. I get 9m plus 15. Remember, when you do the rainbows, you're multiplying. Draw my fence. I'm going to subtract my 15. I get 9m equals 18. I'm going to divide by 9. And I end up with M equals two. So how many games did they play? They each played two games. Last one. Megan bought a bag of chips for $4 and three sodas. If she spent $9.25, how much was each soda? Well, I know my total. Total was 9.25 or $9.25. What parts do I know? Let's see, chips were $4, four for chips. And three sodas. So when I look at that, I see two parts. So I know this is going to be a two-step equation. What do I not know? I don't know how much each soda was. So I don't know the costs for each soda. So I'm going to use C for cost. So my equation. My total goes first, 9.25. Wow, that was really bad, 9. That's okay. And then I put my parts on this side. I see a keyword, and. That means to add. Then I see each, which was each soda. That means multiply. So that means my variable is going to go with the number of sodas I bought, which was 3. So to solve it, I subtract 4. I get 3c on this side, and I get 5.25 on this side. I'm going to divide by 3. And I end up with c equals 
1.75. So how much was each soda? Each soda was $1.75. And there you go. If you have any questions, contact your teacher, uh, Canvas, email us, however you need to do it. And we'll see you back soon.